Figure 11.7 shows a pH probe, which is the business end of a pH meter. I'll go through figure 11.7 and explain the various parts. The pH probe is basically an electrochemical cell, and like most electrochemical cells, it has two electrodes. One is a reference electrode, which is at a constant electric potential, and the other is called a glass electrode, and its potential varies according to the pH of the solution it's immersed in. First the reference electrode, which is in this outer plastic tube. It contains a silver wire coated with silver chloride, and that's immersed in a saturated solution of potassium chloride. This gives a reference electrode with a fixed potential. That's all in the outer tube, and the glass electrode is in the inner tube. It also has a silver wire coated in silver chloride, but the really important part is this special glass membrane at the tip. It's special kind of glass which allows hydrogen ions to diffuse into its outermost layers. And this sets up an electric potential between the solution inside, which is a buffer solution at pH 7, and the solution outside the glass membrane. The size of this potential difference depends on the difference in the concentration of aqueous hydrogen ions inside and outside the glass membrane. Since the pH inside is fixed, the potential difference depends on the pH of the solution outside. The pH probe is connected to some electronics and a meter, which gives a direct readout of the pH of the solution outside. Before you start taking measurements, you need to calibrate the probe against solutions of known pH. The glass electrode in the pH meter is an example of an iron selective electrode, which responds selectively to a particular type of iron in a solution, in this case hydrogen ions. There are many other electrodes which are selective to different ions, such as fluoride and calcium electrodes, as in 11, figure 11.8 on page 521. 